In today's video, we're going to talk about the segment edition postulate. So what is the segment edition postulate? The formal definition is that if we are given two points on a line segment A and C, a third point B lies on the line segment AC if and only if the distances between the points meet the requirements of the equation AB plus BC equals AC. Remember, the line above the letters are used to indicate a line segment. To get an intuitive sense of this statement, let's assign some values to line segments AB and BC. If line segment AB equals 5 and line segment BC equals 10, we can use the segment addition postulate to deduce that line segment AC equals 15. Essentially, we're taking two line segments AB and BC with varying lengths and adding them together to get a larger line segment AC. Now that we understand the basics, we can take this one step further by assigning algebraic expressions to the line segment components. Here's a sample problem we can try together. Let's say the length of line segment AB is given as the expression 2x minus 4, and line segment BC is given as the expression 3x plus 2. We are also given the total length of line segment AC, which is 48. Now, the question asks to find the value of x, then find the length of AB and the length of BC. To tackle this question, let's first think about what are the given values for this problem. Well, it already tells us the total length of the line segment, and we already have the lengths of the two component line segments. Since the points are collinear, which is a fancy term for points lying on the same straight line, we can use the segment addition postulates AB plus BC equals AC to find the value of X. If we plug in our values, we should get the equation 2X minus 4 plus 3X plus 2 equals 48. We can combine like terms to get 5X minus 2 equals 48. Now, we isolate our variable X by adding 2 on both sides to get 5X equals 50. And finally, we can divide both sides by 5 to get x equals 10. Now that we've found x, we have to find the value of line segments AB and BC. How would we answer that? Well, we have already established that x equals 10, so the simple solution is to just plug in 10 for x in the given expressions. So for line segment AB, we can rewrite the expression as the equation AB equals 2x minus 4. Now we just plug in 10 for x to get the equation AB equals 2 times 10 minus 4. Multiply 10 by 2 to get 20 and subtract by 4 to get the length of 16 for line segment AB. We can do the same thing for line segment BC. We can write the equation as BC equals 3x plus 2 and plug in 10 for x. We can simplify the equation to get the length of 32 for line segment BC. To double check our work, we can add the two sums we just calculated and we should get the total length of line segment AC of 48. Perfect, this checks out. Here's another example you can try on your own. Pause the video to see if you can find the answer. First. Let's establish our givens. We know that the length of line segments AB and BC are 3x plus 2 and 6x plus 4, respectively. We also know the total length of line segment AC, which is 69. Now we can plug in our values into the postulate to get 3x plus 2 plus 6x plus 4 equals 69. Simplify the expression and we get 9x plus 6 equals 69. Subtract by 6 on both sides, and finally, divide by 9 on both sides, and we get x equals 7. The next step is to find the lengths of the component line segments. To find the length of AB, we can substitute the value of x, 7, into the given expressions. Simplify, and we get AB equals 23. Same idea for line segment BC. Simplify and we get BC equals 46. To double check our work, let's add both line segments and we should get the total length of the line segment 69. Great, that's correct. 
Today, we learned the definition of the segment addition postulate and how we can apply this intuitive idea to some practice problems. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them. That's it for today. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.